A new addition to the Marble Olympics in 2017, the Steeplechase, comes in for event number nine. All four marbles in a team will make their way down the course with the goal of getting your first three marbles over the line as quick as possible. So you can have one straggler, but the top three have to be quick. If they bump any of the jumps, or if they go off course, they will get a penalty point. Leading us off to show how it goes, Team Primary. Those top three staying close. Now that fourth one jumping up into second place. It's not about where you finish, but it's how quickly your top three finish. And you can see that separation already starting. Across the line, those three go. The bottom one does not matter. They set the first time to beat, 44-12. Keep that in mind as we move through these 16 teams with the Quick Silvers up next. As they move down the course, two by two. They've got to try to pick up the speed. It's all about pacing. Oh, when they hit one of the blocks at the bottom there, one of those sticks became dislodged. As you can see, they pick up a penalty point, 43-3-2. Oceanics, the team sitting in the middle of the standings in seventh place. A silver and a bronze to their name so far, and they are quick down this course. Keeping fairly tight, you've got to stay off the walls as well up together. Can they keep it over the line? Off they go. Good job at the end. 43-9-8 though. Now to the Limers. The Limers lost three positions in the last event. Hear the fans cheering, but they're having a little bit of difficulty with that back marble. You don't want to get so slow that you hit one of the sticks because then you're going to incur a penalty on your teammates. 43-3-6 on that one. You have that straggler, but you don't want them incurring penalties on you. Now the Shining Swarm. New in the Marble Olympics this season, as is this event, but they already have a gold medal. A decent spread between them. Not quite what they'd hoped. They come through 43-8-1. That 14-2-4 up there leading the way for Sterling. We'll see if anybody breaks into the 13s or if multiples on a single team can break into the 13s. A quick start down this course so far. We're getting a little bit close to the edge there. We've got to try to keep it clean. The first marble was quick and it was Mo Mo Mo. 13 3 5. There you go. Mimo also. New marble coming in and getting second on the team. Helping to keep lowering that time. Those top three really close. We've seen some good times to beat so far. These top two are going to be very close to them. They might even be both in the 13s. Yeah, look at that. But 14-8-8 pushes them back down. But still 42-4-5. That is a very good result. As we reach the halfway point in this event, the Jungle Jumpers in the blocks and ready to go. Dead last in the Marble Olympics. No medals whatsoever and just 24 points. When you compare that to the Savage Speeders 114, you need to get things going with just a few events left. This looks to be an okay time. Ah, but they got a penalty added on there. 45-3. Ugh, not good. Here's a Marble's eye view. As we head down the course, 42-4-5 is the time to beat from Team Galactic. If you can break that 43 mark, I think you are going to be in good position. Unless these last eight are going to give us a big flurry of speed, I think that's going to be the mark. The Rangers keep in lockstep with each other through the first few jumps. Just a couple remaining now. We're getting hung up briefly on the wall. I think they managed to clear those sticks on the final hurdle. 42-1-3, there you go. Whew, that's quick. That is very quick. Like I said, they had a great early stint. Those first couple of jumps really defining them, and consequently, you can see defining this run for the Pinkies. All out of sorts. Oh! And there you saw that marble in second there. We'll have to see who that was getting stuck at that last jump. Yeah, Pinky Rosa incurring a penalty second and not finishing at all. It's not the kind of team work that you want. Now the Jawbreaker sitting back in 12th. Also a team that have no medals to their name. Looking actually pretty good here. Oh, I think 
think they just clipped that barrier and knocked down one of the sticks. They're going to get a penalty second for that. But still, 42 6 7? Oh my goodness. That's also pretty quick. Even with a penalty. Think about that. All right, our leaders in the Marble Olympics, the Savage Speeders, seeming always to live up to their name and looking pretty quick here. A little bit out of sorts. Still clocking in some good times. 41 5 7. Look at that. 13 4 8, the quickest time. 13 4 8. And they reset the mark to beat. I don't know if anybody's going to get close to that. Yes, they looked like they were a little bit out of whack toward the end. Oh, we get another one stuck down there on that final jump. Chalk does not make it. 46 2 4. Boy, just those savage speeders. I still can't get over that. They were just on the limit. Maybe he didn't stay the cleanest, but it worked for him in the end. We'll see if any of the final remaining teams try to copy that. And we'll see if it works for them. This time, not going to. That spread a bit too big. 42-03 for the Midnight Wisps, even with a 13-4-2 leading the way. Two teams to go. Mellow Yellow in the blocks, and off they go now. Back three, keeping fairly tight. Ooh. Now getting a little bit of separation. One marble's not going to finish. Yeah, definitely getting caught back there. That will incur a penalty second. They were spread far enough, and I really don't think it mattered. We'll see what their time is. 41.66. Oh, my goodness. Yellow runs a 12.05. That would have been good enough had Yella finished for a gold medal and a record. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable stuff. Our final team working their way down the course now. The Thunderbolts, will they challenge for the gold? I'm just going to wait for the time to come up. No, they won't. 44.76. Wow, I just cannot believe that. Savage Speeders pick up the gold, but Mellow Yellow come very close, very close. Well done to them. Midnight Wisps coming in in bronze. Midnight Savage Speeders and Mellow Yellow. As we take a look at the results of this steeplechase. Nine hundredths of a second separating the Savage Speeders and Mellow Yellow. Savage Speeders, as a result, stretch their lead and are almost guaranteed to end on the podium. But you never know. Mellow Yellow and a Rangers back behind.